Hey there, chat. How are you guys doing tonight? Good evening, good evening, good evening. Oh man, <laughs> I'm realizing that my uh, <laughs> my flag is literally flapping in the breeze. That's actually pretty cool. I can get down with that. That's that's baller. That's pretty awesome. Well, I hope you guys are ready. We are going to go back to a galaxy far, far away. A long, long time ago. Well, like more like right now. But we're gonna go. We're gonna go do us. Holy Jesus! <laughs> hey, what Z-Bags, what's up? What's up, man? What the fuck is that? How are you doing tonight, brother? But yeah, we're gonna go do some uh, some more Star Wars and. God, I hope I have this thing set up. I haven't even thought about this, but let's see. Do we have it? Oh, we do. This is sweet. Okay. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this out. We're going to bring up our music, and then we're going to swing right back over. Let's see if it'll do it. Oh, no, it's being a dick. Hold on. Hold on. I done fucked up, man. I don't know why it thought. No, 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 no. Not Far Cry. Oh, you idiot. Come on, Dread, get your crap together, man. There we go. There we go. Just got done mowing the lawn. Ooh. Dude, if it's anywhere near as hot where you are as it is here, I feel bad for you, dude. I legitimately feel bad for you. Because uh, it's about... Let's see. It's, it's 8.30 at night here, and it's 85 degrees still with, like, a stupid amount of humidity man so that means during the heat of the day it was like 95 maybe higher absolutely insane i know where have we gotten off to i know we just finished everything oh we're at yavin nice wait is that where we currently are well, let's go see where the hell we are i honestly don't remember where we are I thought we were still technically at, um, get out of the way, man. I thought we were still, shit, now I'm getting turned around on my own ship. God damn it. And this little fucker, man, if you don't move, I am going to unleash hell on you. Get out of the way. There we go. I thought we were still at Manon, but I must have, uh, I must have made us travel. First time you did, uh, longest day of the year. Oh, dude, that's the worst. Longest and the hottest, man. That's always what ends up happening. That's me, too. Is I'll, I'll wait till, like, Saturday to do it. <laughs> and I'm like, it's cool. It's the morning. It, it won't be too bad. No, I make a huge mistake. I go out just before, like, noon. Oops. And it's, like, crazy stupid hot. And it's the worst time to do it. Absolutely the worst possible time you could think of to do it. All right. We'll take, uh, we'll take Bastila... And we'll take HK, because they're hilarious. Yeah, it's the configuration I want. Let me out of my ship! Oh, yeah, it's the space station at Yavin. All right, all right, all right, cool. Let me in. I feel like the game's not that loud. Hang on. Yes? Yes? I'm going to crank it up just a little bit, chat. We'll put it up to 50%. That can't be that bad. There we go. Trump. Yard is slanted. We use a push mower. Oh, does it at least have like the drive that you can enable on it so it'll kind of sort of push itself up? Because I remember those, man. I used to have two of them. I used to have one. One had like that cool like auto drive thing where like if you pulled the one the one part down, the front wheels would turn. And then the other one didn't. It was just heavy and sucked. You are pinky. Recognize your ship. Davix, isn't it? No, it's mine now, man. It's mine, fool. Am I new or something? Are you kidding me? Yeah, I'm new. I'm very new. It's self-propelled. Dude, those are like the... Those are at least they give you a little bit of relief. What do I want? Uh... Well, I do work for Davik. Damn it. He saw right through it. Who are you? Um. 
Let's go. I haven't been here in 50 years, not since the last war. It's not going to have it of it for now. Still, my business with the Sith is old news. Politics ain't my affair. Guess I can let you in. Good, nice. They aren't exactly stunning conversations. Trandoshans and smugglers. Trandoshan lizard speak is kind of hard to follow, and they have pretty limited imaginations. This guy's not very nice, man. He's just not very nice. <sighs> kind of awkward through this door. Just hold on a minute. I'll open the damn thing up and we can talk more face to face. This guy's not very good at living on a space station, is he? I feel like he's about to have a bad day. You just let me in. Too human. Not this war. Maybe I should. Yeah, I could play the. Uh, I could play the Jedi. Uh, I seek pieces of map to a starboard. Let's do that. I got destroyed by a guy in PUBG today. He one shot me in the head. Oh man. Are you serious? Okay, so help me out here. Uh, with PUBG, uh, is that. And I feel like a dumbass for asking this, but is that single elimination and you're out? Or is that like um, you can come back? Like you, I know, like in Apex, you can you can res and stuff. There's nothing in the system except the ruins of Exar Kun's war. Oh man, we're gonna talk about Exar Kun. Whoa. War. Got a lot of uh, troubles recently. I've heard. Lighten me about this guy. Yeah. He's a Jedi. To start, at least. He came here to Yavin and landed on the fourth moon. The one you can see through the window. There were some ancient Sith temples there. Yeah, the Masasi temples. I know all about them. The next Arkun gained terrible powers. He raised the Sith and waged war against the Republic. Much like what seems to be happening today. <gasps> Far more powerful than any Sith Lord who has come since. Very ground trumpet beneath his feet when he looked at you. Just, just, well, that's all in the past now. Nabara no Winky Smack no Ma. Let's see if it'll let me. Oh, I think it did it. I think it did it. Okay. Tell me about the system, tell me about yourself. Never heard of it, right? Yeah, I already talked about that. Alright, tell me about the system. If you get knocked down, you can get back up, but if you die, when you get knocked Oh, I gotcha. What's up, Deacon? How you doing, bud? I'm a Yavin, dude. You just talked about Exar Kun. I forgot that there was actually a conversation about Exar Kun in this. That was kind of cool. Yeah, what's on Yavin 4? <laughs> I know all about it. There it is. When Exar Kun started the Great Sith War 50 years ago, Yavin 4 was his base, building a lot of his Sith. Dude, that's sick. The Republic came and bombed the surface of the planet, destroying pretty much everything. Oh yeah, these these dudes' voices are ridiculous. I wish they would just have him speak in normal basic. You lost cores, always seem to. Cool. I'm not really interested in more questions now. I'll be leaving. Thank you. Okay, so what's this guy got here? I honestly, this is one of the few places I don't remember a whole lot of. So that's Yavin right there, and that's probably Yavin 4. If I'm looking at it right, that should be Yavin 4. So, any people who know your Star Wars, the very first one, the very end, when the Death Star came after the Rebels, this is the planet they were on. Well, this is, right here. This is the one it, uh, the Death Star was orbiting. Okay, 
It was awesome. Get out of the way. All right, can we go up here? Yeah. Go over there. Let me through. Access denied. You big bitch. Let me go through, man. Let me go through. Ack. What am I supposed to do here, dude? I think this might just be all fan service. Hold on, I think he can sell me something. Hang on, what you got, dude? Come here. Anything you got, you'd be willing to sell me? Yeah, let me see. Exoskeleton. That's seven. And droid shield might be worth it. I do have 11,000. Damn, though, that's four grand, dude. Uh-uh. That is 10,000. Are you kidding me? What's the deal? It's upgradable, though. That's kind of cool. Should I buy 10,000 unit armor? Not Star Wars without the voices. Dude, that's so true. Partial, what's up, man? Next Wednesday? Hold on, you go back to school on a Wednesday? That's bizarre. Jesus, man, you go back so early. I can't. I can't just buy 10,000 on this thing. I don't actually know what I'm supposed to do here. Oh. What the hell? Just yelling at something, man. I don't think I can do anything with these guys. Damn, Partial, I can't believe how early y'all go back. That's insane, dude. I want to see if there's another access panel down on the other side. Last... Oh, my God. They made you go back on a Friday? Oh, that's bullshit, dude. That's the first day of school, and they're going to hit you up with a Friday. Early August. The fact that it starts on a Wednesday. I know. I'll be honest. They both have me blown. But you know what? I have heard that... In the south, they go back earlier, but they get out earlier, too. So, like, Partial, what, what's the end of your school year, then? Because, like, for us, it's it was usually, like, I don't know, mid-June? We're going to go try another planet, because Yavin's a bust. Do we go see the, the Wookiees? Been to Dantooine. Korriban's fun. All right, we did Tatooine, Manan, and Dantooine. Let's let's go see the Wookiees. Let's go see the Wooks. <laughs> Can partial confirm. Yar or Nar. We are looking for a Yar or a Nar. Normally start in Argus, get out get out in the end of May? Oh! Yeah, that didn't happen for us. That did not happen for us. Wow. May 22nd. Oh my god, dude. Our seniors might have gotten out then. Like, for real. That is bonkers, dude. Maryland shit was cool. Hey! Video fucked me up, man. I don't think I had the little... I don't think I had the little vision when I went to Yavin. And go see some happy Wookiees. Actually, I take that back. They're not happy here at all. I think they're actually very upset. I love the fact that they use the sound effect from the uh, Millennium Falcon for the Ebon Hawk. It sounds awesome. Yeah, last week of May for your senior uh, senior year. Yeah, I think that was about me, too. Maybe one week prior. But they gave us a senior project that we had to do. So we had, like, a week to do that. To get out a week ahead of time? Oh, my God. Have a great stream. Probably going to eat, then watch a movie. Zvex, thank you, man. You thank you for popping in, dude. Enjoy your movie. What you watching? continues to work through us. 
showing us the star maps unearthed by Revenant Malak. Kashek is a lush but simple and undeveloped world. I would not have They're expected not that to find simple, the alien that technology of a star map here. You didn't have that yet? Dang. Forest the Wookiees of Kashek make their home high among the Rosha branches. Only the oh. bravest warriors dare to descend into Checking out Jumanji, dude. I've only heard good things about it. I haven't seen it yet, though. The is located far beneath us on the planet's surface, as our vision seems to suggest. It's unlikely the Wookiees even know of its existence. No doubt things will become more I know. I almost bought it before I went live, Deacon. Like, for real. I was about two seconds away just from saying, ah, fuck it. I probably will just do that tonight. Wouldn't mind throwing it on the background tomorrow. Uh, you know what? We're gonna take we're gonna take Zalbar with us. Yeah. Basilisk got her healing ability. That's a pretty big thing to have. You start on the winds and Overwatch. So. Buy it when you get home tomorrow. Yeah. We're making a second. I know, the second one looks like it's going to be pretty good. 100 credit docking fee again. <laughs> I'm dread. A land where I wish. start tomorrow night when you get home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine, I'll pay the stupid fee. Fuck you and fuck Zerka, dude. I'll have no doubt. Information center? I will answer more. I don't want to follow you, man. Ugh. I just want to come and do whatever it is I need to do. No, I gotta follow this stupid Athorian who walks at a goddamn snail's pace. Is there a way I can walk? Is there a way I can walk? Nope. It's run or bust. Hang on, Zalbar. Let's auto level you. There you go, bud. Sure. What am I drinking there, Captain No Hair? Uh. Let's see if you guys can get a. Oh, land shark. It's actually quite good. It's a decent beer. Um, it's kind of like your average, average uh, lager. Yeah, it's decent. We still got a ton left in the fridge, man. Here's fleeing slavers. Yeah, that's right. Why were you forced out? Slavers allowed them to get a foothold. I found out and attacked them. Fight was stopped. My father did not believe me. Oh boy. I was made in exile. Disowned my home. I should not be here. They will not accept me back. Why didn't your dad believe your story, man? When I attacked my brother, I was so mad I used my claws. You don't understand if that means to a Wookiee. Oh yeah, that is a big deal. Pick him up and carry him? It's the other way around. He can pick me up. Mad Claw. Oh, that's right, dude. I forgot about all this. We'll deal with that if we have to. Sorry, dude. You're gonna be alright. You're gonna be alright. Where'd that slow bastard go? I feel like he had one way to go, and it had to have been this way. Do I have to follow him, or can I just say fuck it and go? Ah, damn it. There he is. Well, hang on. They got shit in here. Let's check it out. Let's check it out, man. Yes? Sure. All right, you dumbass, I followed you. It's gonna troll me. <laughs> I need supplies. This dude's getting his twerk on with his head, man.
So it's still unexplored even by the local sports gets even more dangerous the further you descend. I need to go down to the Shadowlands. Yeah. What do you have to sell me, man? Purchase local species. Hold on, you pig. Oh, that's messed up. Other directors at other stations. Harvesting is handled as delicately as possible. I'm gonna threaten this guy. Partial, thank you for the lurk, bud. I'm gonna threaten this guy for being a piece of shit. Yeah, get him, Zalbar. We supply arms in exchange for a supply of healthy wookies. We are kept profitable and agreeable leader is kept in power. Oh my god. What's this leader's name? We need to go have a word. Chundar. That's not the name I want to hear. That's his fucking brother, man. That's his brother. Call him a thrall again. Call him a thrall again. Not yet. That's totally his brother. I'm through speaking with you, you piece of shit. You're a piece of shit. You're a piece of shit. Look at this Wookiee in the cage, man. Look at this shit. They can't stand up. Mmm. This is messed up, dude. This is super messed up. We need we need to go have some words. Okay, we came down from there, so let's go. Why am I stuck? What can I do? Oh god, the AI. Come on. Sure. Alright, we need to go have some words. These guys are fucking animals. Hold here, Spacer. Zerka Corporation doesn't recommend traveling in wild Adia. Katarn attacks are Wicked! What's up, Wicked? Wookie hunters usually How are you doing down. tonight, man? But I think they leave certain areas infested. Just hoping a Zerka guard will get Hope you're here. having a good night, my dude. Don't get my way. You'll end up dead. Should I threaten him? I don't Threatening take him. kindly to threats. Don't test me, Spacer. We've more than enough firepower to Oh, I don't think here. you do. I don't think you have enough firepower, man. Just sort of woke up from a nap? Dude, nice. Wish I had time for a nap, dude. <laughs> you were sleepy. <laughs> now you're groggy, I bet. <laughs> if, at least if it's uh, anything like what happens to me, dude. The minute I wake up from a nap, the rest of the day I'm just trash. Trying to get my bearings. Didn't mean any harm. I totally did. I meant nothing by it. Could you answer my questions? I totally did mean something by it. I'm just gonna persuade. What are you him. doing? Are you making fun of me? Don't, <laughs> Don't push your luck, fool. Call me a fool again. Uh, I'm going past you. I paid the landing fee. I won't stop you, but you leave this area at your own risk. We're here to protect the company, not you. I don't give a shit about you, man. I was trying to get past. Open the door, bitch. Open the door, bitch. Man, we already got shit happening here, dude. Look at this. These things look terrible. I'm gonna kill him. Let's get him. Nice. Let's see, do we have anything we can pick up? Nah, man. Alright, sweet. And the sound, the smells, you feel all spaceport. The walkway is new, probably built by the slavers. I just remember the trees. My village is not far from here. I only know the way things were, and many things have changed. Must worry one thing. Don't know if I will be a help or a hindrance here. My father was a very powerful. He was a chieftain. Perhaps his feelings have mellowed, but if my brother had his ear all this time, 
You may be unwelcome. We'll deal with it when it happens. Cool shit, dude. Oh, Mr. Stokes, what's happening, dude? How was vacation, dude? It was awesome. It was so nice, man. I sat on a beach for a week. <laughs> it was fantastic. Well, almost a week. Almost a week. We did have one day of rain. That was it. This isn't good. Uh, I can't afford this. You think I can? Do you know what they get for a healthy one of those things? How They'll you doing, dude? Out later. We've got company. What do you want, Spacer? I'm Patrol Captain Denno, and you're interrupting Zerka Corporation business. Am I now? What happened here? This Wookiee slave got a little rebellious. We had to put it down. Oh my god. That's a dead Wookiee. Oh, you're a dead bitch yourself. Does that make you mad, Zalvar? I bet it does. Do you want these men dead? I would not need much encouraging. Do it. Kill them. We'll make them pay. What? Blasters ready, men! This fool wants to die? Uh, sorry, sir. I think that's you. Yeah. Doing good. That's awesome, dude. Man, I can't believe these guys thought they stood a chance. That was silly. I don't care about that. That I care about. I'm gonna take all their shit. Actually, I'm going this way. You go check out this corpse. What we got in here? Oh, we got good shit. We got good shit. I know. Can we? Sentry droid. We're gonna steer. I, I see. I knew they'd have shit on them. Here we go. Got an ID card. Is this what we're playing for the week? Uh, if I can get through it relatively quickly. Probably not the whole week. But my goal is to finish it this week, and I've only got like two planets. This this planet and one other one, and then we go to the like the final fight. So I think I'm relatively close. I could be way off though. But yeah, for the most part, I want to get through this. Because uh we got Ultimate Alliance, man. I want to get to that ace slappy. Very, very excited for Ultimate Alliance. A as you do. You know, I mean, like, of course. I can't wait. But I'm also at, in, like, a bad habit of starting a game, then getting a new, uh, a new shiny, and then not finishing the game that I was playing. So, looking forward to watching that dude, right? Um, so I'm kind of in that weird spot where I'm like, I know I need to finish this. Because I'm tired of not finishing stuff. I just let my ADD get in the way, man. <laughs> You're in that same boat. Dude, it's tough, right? You get a new shiny and then that's all you want to do is the shiny. I'm going to kill it. Okay, that was awesome. Oh, and I leveled up. Nice. Look at how dark side he's gone. <laughs> this is going to be one evil motherfucker by the time. I mean, I'm pretty much almost all the way there. This guy's going to want to talk. Do you want to talk? Damn it. Only Chundar may allow you to enter. Okay. There's so many games you want to pick up that I haven't. Dude. Dude. It, it. Hang on a second. Let me show you something. Hang on. These Wookiees are having a full-blown serious conversation. Where is this Wookiee I need to see? <laughs> There's no way any normal person can, can, can say that. Okay, now hold on. Here's what I want to show you. Look at my list of games. There's so much on here I need to get through. Look at all this. It's ridiculous, dude. I still never even finished The Witcher. I don't even know if my save is still there. I'm going to have to go back and check that out at some point. But, dude, it's insanity. 
Just so many games. So many games. <clears throat> and I'd like to be able to get through a good chunk of them. But, man, some of them are long, dude. And then there's just, there's too much good stuff coming out. No, that was my entire Steam list. That's not counting anything I have on consoles. That was just all... They're all great because I don't have anything installed right now because I'm just, I'm so sick of having all this crap decide to update in the middle of the stream and slowing down my computer. So I really, what I've been doing lately is just keeping whatever it is I'm playing, keeping just that installed. Seems to be working out pretty good. Then I don't bomb up like the hard drive and shit. Nor do I have any like problems with uh, you know the updates being. There's one thing I figured out. It's that Steam takes over your entire system when it decides to do an update. You could have the most most robust system on the planet. It'll still slow down the minute Steam goes nuts. Oh, hang on. That's a lot of dark Jedi. We're gonna do a little. We're gonna do a little thing here. Boom. God, I love that macro. That's sick. What's the problem? Indie games that are like 20, 70 hour storylines take me for it. Yeah, dude, right? And God forbid you try to play something like Skyrim, dude. Lord Malak 100, was most displeased when he learned he had escaped Taris alive. He has promised a great reward to whoever Although, destroys. that's one I want to play through on stream. I'm not in a big hurry because I've probably played through that game nine times. Like, it's been a lot. I'm gonna choke your bitch ass out. Well, this party's actually doing quite well against these guys now. There we go. Yeah, buddy. Ooh, we got a double bladed out of that. That's pretty hot. We got crystals. Nice. Now I'm gonna let my party heal up. I'm here. Sure. What can I do? Let's see if she can do that one more time. Beautiful. What? Had to give up those because every time I pick it, uh, pick it back up, it's like, where the hell was I? What? Oh, dude, right. That's how I feel like. Uh, that's what happened to me with like ESO. I was playing Elder Scrolls Online for a while. And uh, then I stopped, you know, for like a month or something, just because I was playing something else. And I came back and I'm like, I don't remember anything that I was doing before. All right, I'm out. That was a full-blown Chewbacca soundbite. Listen to that. Easy, Chewy. Sounds like he hit pretty close to the mark there, huh, kid? Get her all riled up like that. Never playing an online... Oh, man, there's a bunch that you can try. Especially on console, man. I feel like almost all of them now are just, like, free-to-play. Uh, if you want a good one... I don't know if you're into, like, ship battling and stuff. Um, Star Trek Online is a great one to, to start out with. Because you can just play that over and over and over and over. And, like, it's kind of grindy, but not super grindy. Um, there's plenty outside of ship missions and inside of ship missions. It's really cool, dude. That's a good free one. Uh, apparently Neverwinter totally took a shit all over its followers. Otherwise, I'd say there's a great D&D &D one right there that you can go try. Um, but yeah, they're all over the place. Uh, I'm trying to think of another good one. DC Online if you want a superhero one. That's all free. What does he mean? <laughs> I am the taint. Well, nobody wants to be the taint, but... Yeah, take me to Chundar. Take me to Big Chungus. I need to see Big Chungus. Why do I have to select these guys again? Oh, because I get Basila. And... There we go. Oh, I only get to pick one. No, I get to pick two. There we go. 
time has become the biggest problem, dude. I hear that, dude. Chondar. Big Chungus. Big Chungus. Circus laborers. Are they not the outsiders, or have you sold all of Kashyyyk to them? Brother. Yep. Yep. Insane, your father enslaved. I rose to protect my people despite it all. Salvar is a lot changing years away. Dig and I were discussing the possible superhero DD thing. Dude, how cool would that be, right? I was thinking about that uh, before I did the online uh, the online one uh, that we, we tried the one time. I was thinking of maybe uh, in just setting it as a superhero, uh, like like you would make all of your characters as superheroes using the D and D backbone. <laughs> the Wookiee has suffered the same fate as Saul Bar. Gone mad, then been exiled. He looks in the shuttle lines. More importantly, pestering my Zerg allies during the shuttle line expeditions is not good for business. Yeah, I mean, if the parameters are right, uh, and you didn't let it get out of control, like, you'd really have to rein in some of the creative sides of it, you know? Because you can't have a Superman character running around. That would be ridiculous. They'd all have to be vulnerable in some way. But I think it could be a really cool, cool idea. Like, I actually explored it pretty, uh, extensively. And then I thought, nah, let's just keep it simple because we were doing, doing a, a, an online version of it so we can't even see each other in real time. You know, I was like, let's keep it easier. Dad being a mad claw too. Then I suppose we have little choice. We should proceed with caution, however. Alright, the gore wookin. Something I think I'm going back pocket and keep looking into. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's not a bad idea. I think it'd make for a really cool campaign. Because, I mean, essentially, that's it's, it's not far off from how you play D&D already, when you think about it, right? You've got characters, they all have crazy wild abilities. Some are fighters, some are magic users. I mean, like, that's basically... Ugh, Bastla. Yeah, what do you want, like... Yes, I suppose I can understand your curiosity, given the bond that connects us. Very well. I'll tell you a bit about myself. Tell me how you joined the Jedi. I was found to be strong with the Force at a young age, as most Padawans are. As a girl, I was given to the Order to be trained. When I joined the Order, I left my family on Tarraven, as all Padawans do. My family is still there, the last that I heard. I've had little contact with them, as it is discouraged. Relationships with family members are fraught with powerful emotions. Such extremes are to be avoided. Anger and hate are the worst, but even love can lead to folly. You're not allowed to love? Emotional entanglements can be dangerous. They can impair rational thought. They Say can it so. of uncontrolled emotion. A Jedi must be above such things. <laughs> right? You don't sound very convinced, lady. Try again. It can be a hard lesson to learn. I was not on good terms. Chat, with my you know she's got a chub on for, for us here. For a long time. So she's like, quoting, quoting Jedi doctrine, but at the same time she's looking you up and down like... Man, I'm just saying, if it gets cold tonight. I was not on good terms with my mother. I was only a little girl when I left, but I was old enough to resent her and the way she treated my father. 
She pushed my father into treasure hunting. Oh. I spent all my young life on ships, traveling from one false lead to the next. She would That's have a weird thing to pu fortune, push your significant other into. I think she was relieved to give me to the Jedi. But my father was heartbroken. <laughs> Pretty sure her pants got tighter, right? Did you ever try to get in touch with your father again? The child is too young to understand the sacrifices that must be made. It's better if they have no contact with their family once Dude, I feel like that Wookiee behind her is constantly scratching his ass. Policy. A Jedi must do what is needed. Personal desires not the Scratch, same. scratch, scratch. Love can only obscure and confuse the matter. <laughs> Even a Jedi can scratch, always scratch. control the feelings. Oh, of he's leaving. We must do our best to guard against it, no matter what the cost. But some sacrifices are harder than others. I, I do not wish to discuss this anymore. I would rather return to our mission. That's like kind of the first time her face actually got kind of expressive. Okay, now what was... I need to look at the map for a second. I think this is... Yeah, I think we gotta go that way. <laughs> doesn't want any matted hair. Yeah, that's how he's wiping, dude. <laughs> oh. War wool. What was the section they had all closed off to us? We'll go back down this way. Hold on. Think it was over here? No. No. Hmm, this way? No, 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 no. Wookiees are awesome, man. I love Wookiees. They're hilarious. Okay, well, we can't go that way. This is some dude's house we're coming up on. Or that we just passed? Yeah, of course. Wookie guard here. What do we have in here? Chieftain's Hall. We just came from there. Do the sound effects, man. I feel like I'm in like a uh, Animal Kingdom. It's kind of awesome. What do we do with the drunken sailor? What do we do with the drunken sailor? Jumped a fucking foot in a half, right man. In the Mr. Stokes, thank you for that resub, buddy. What are we up to there? 12 months, dude? One year already? Keep it going, my captain. Oh, man, you got the big boy badge now. You and Deacon, man, you guys both got that yellow badge, or I guess the gold one, man. That's cool, dude. Thanks, buddy. Thank you, man. I, can you believe it's been a year? Oh, my God. All right, we'll go to the Great Walkway. That's fine. We'll give it a shot, see what happens. I can't believe it's been a year, dude. Man. Oh, dude, I think I went the wrong way. Or maybe we go south. Maybe we go down here. Supply station. Yeah, let's try going south. Look at that. Look at all that gold, man. You got that booty. You got that booty. <laughs> I had fun making those. I thought they were cool. They're actually pretty hard to see on here, though. We got a bad guy. We got a bad guy. We gonna go fuck him up. Yeah, I can't believe I've been doing this for a year, man. I guess technically 13 months. <laughs> I love this. Emotes all over the place, baby. I want to get to the point where I can do uh, a lot more emotes. I don't even know what to do them with. Like, I don't even have like I. I got like no good ideas to make them, you know? Like I guess I could do one as like a treasure chest, that might be kind of cool. But like at one point I was thinking of like, oh maybe I'll do like an eye patch, and then I was like, no one's gonna know what that look that is. It's just gonna look like you know, like, oh my emote looks like a thong. Good job, dude. <laughs> you know? You never mind my booty. <laughs> I don't know. This is true. This is just, this looks like we're gonna get fucked up. We're about to get fucked up. I don't like it! Get him! There we go. There's 
There's a game that stays on the channel, something to do with that. Yeah, that's a good point. Like, maybe I should make some um, Destiny or Borderlands ones. That's a pretty good idea. Sea of Thieves would be a great one. But that's already got the piratey thing, so I feel like I've already kind of got that covered. Oh, uh, but you know what I could do? Maybe I can make some using, like, the different... Uh, uh, the different companies, so I could do something like Order of Souls, something uh, with gold orders. Right, now I'm getting ideas. Eye patch over here. I, I should do it over both eyes. <laughs> that would be funny. How's this stupid pirate see anything? Yar, he doesn't need to see anything. He be a pirate. His reputation be doing the work for him. Or something that is saying that happens. Oh, now that's tough. I don't mean you any harm, you goofball. Failure. Don't make me fight you, dude. I just handled all the shit you couldn't. Don't make me fight you. You're fine. Just get out of here, man, before the slavers find you. Um, <laughs> be like the pirate from Family Guy. Hell yeah. Uh, getting your emotes to change from game to game, I don't know if that's a thing Twitch actually lets you do. But it's brilliant. Oh, there's Gore Wooken. I need to talk to him. Plus, that's the end of the line. Let us go down. Damn, this is a long way down, dude. If they had to do the, the, the typical Star Wars wipe, that tells you something, man. Oh no, more of these bastards. At last, my search is over. Oh shit, that's just dark beginning bandit. to fear someone else had killed you and deprived me of the pleasure. You may have defeated the pathetic bounty hunter my master sent after you, but you are no match for me. I have studied at the foot of the Dark Lord himself. Uh, no, I mean something that you say, uh, say during game. Oh, that's not a bad idea. Like catchphrases, yeah. From other streamers and see if something catches your eye. Yeah, I know, I've been looking at, like, Goths. He's got them from all over the place. He's got everything from Dragon Ball Z to Sonic and shit. And I was just like, man, I don't know how. I don't know how anybody has has the time or ability to, to make some of these. Because, like, they're legitimately artistic. And I'm legitimately not. <laughs> you know? Your words mean nothing to me. Unless you wish to beg for your life. No. Zelda theme stuff uh, theme stuff would be good, like a Master Sword or a uh, Hylian Shield would be cool. Ah, oh, balls. Here we go. I'm curious. Will it let me save here? Yes, it will. I'm going to call it Dread 2, just in case we get absolutely fucked on the return on this. All right. Going into attack mode. Actually, I want to I want to take you out, Darth. You're the one that I want. Fire. All right, so we're not going to go for him yet. Yes, we are. All right. We're going to go turn on these energy. Damn. Basla goes down so quick. Not my good kind of way. What? Well, that means we're close. Yeah, sword and shield are probably really good. They make a lot of sense. Yep, we just lost HK. He's about to go down. Yep, he's down. I have three Jedi on me, man. This is not going to end well. Yep, sorry, down. Okay, so we'll reload. Whoop, 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 whoop. Nope. Call Dread 2. All right, we need to we need to get more clever with this. I want Darth Bandon. I'm going to hit him like so. 
Not what I said I wanted to do, you douche. Skadoosh. There we go. Alright. You guys need your shields on like a slappy. Alright, now that they're all shielded up. I want you going after this guy, and I want you going after this guy. Let's get some fo focus firing. You're gonna be my healer, Vasla. That's what's hap happening here. We get one of them already? Yeah, we did. Stoller, what's up, man? That's how we knew he screwed up. Hell yeah. Okay, that shit's getting real old real quick. Okay, hang on. Basla, seriously? Med pack, bitch. Yeah. Med pack, seriously, there we go. You? Sure. This is just not happening fast enough. He is cranking through us. Okay, 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 we got him, we got him, we got him. There we go, there we go. Alright, 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 not bad, not bad. You know, guys, I'm impressed with us. We did, we did real good. We got his lights. It. Ooh, hang on. Kalonords. I just saw Darth Bandon's shit. Hold on. Where was his? That looked interesting. Dark Jedi Knight robe. Darth Bandon's fiber armor. It won't let me wear it. God damn it. Will it? Oh yeah, will. That's awesome. Oh, that's awesome. That doesn't look that cool. That doesn't look that cool. I'm, uh, I'm less than impressed. But you know what we need to do now, chat? Boom. Updated. Stoller, how you been, man? How have you been, sir? really take this opportunity to heal up. Overworked? Preach, dude. What can I do? Preach, dude. What? Are you at least getting any time off, man? Time to like kind of relax yes. a little bit? Yes. Oh, these guys look like fun. Bull Katarn. Any relation to Kai? I'm here. Oh, uh, you were off Sunday, so you got a call? God damn, dude. I didn't realize you were on call, man. That sucks. I feel like Gravy's in the same boat, man. He just keeps uh, keeps picking up extra extra hours. People don't come to work. Gravy takes care of it. Hey, Master Jedi! Get it, dude! You're kicking ass and taking names over there. Damnable racket of battle! Watch yourself. Even more of these crawling beasts are hiding in the underbrush. Who are you? I'm Jolie. Jolie Bindo. Follow me to my camp. We'll talk a bit. Jolie. 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 Ah, don't start falling just yet. I'm too old for that. <laughs> uh, I know a few things, but keep close. It's nearby under a log. Alright, let's get out of here. That, anno that noise is so fucking annoying.
Oh, make it stop. Make it stop. Not on call. They know you'll come in since everyone just calls in. Oh man, that's worse then. <laughs> Welcome to my home, such as it is. This dude's totally Don't pulling a Yoda. We should discuss a few things. Don't coddle me, child. I'm neither a Jedi nor your I'm master. I'm neither a Just Jedi nor man your master. Been lost in the my days of glory are behind me. But now, why would you be asking about that? Hmm? Yeah, I yeah. Answer. I knew that had to be why you were here. Yeah, you know, it's why here. Few Wookiees don't amount to anything before the concerns of the Jedi. Kashyyyk is an interesting place, more so than anyone suspects. If Circa Corporation knew, the planet would be a strip mine. Ugh. The Wookiees have their legends that they were not always here, but it is more than that. What I'm saying is that there are literally walls in your way. And you won't find what you need without my help. And my help has a price. Got a price? You I must can pay. do a task for me. And then allow me to join with you. I will then remove certain... All right. Oh, save it. I know this sounds absurd, but I'm old and entitled to work you around a bit. <laughs> I'm old and entitled to work you around a bit. Since they began expanding in the Shadowlands... The Circa have left me alone for the most part. Until we a group of them set up camp not far from here. Poachers is where they are. Why do you care if they're they here? They don't respect this place. Poachers the wildlife. The Wookiees could take care of themselves if they wished. Yes, yes, I'm an old man that's getting fussy. I like it. Call me foolish if you will. I don't care. You still have their camp is in the far northeast. Now remember, if I wanted them dead, I'd have done it. You find a better way. Arrgh. I'll look into it. Turn to me here and we'll see how you have done. Shoo, shoo, shoo. Alright, I think he said they're up to the north. Ready. What can I do? What? Oh, let's kill these things first. More experience. More leveling. More things. Alright, not bad. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Alright, not up here. Let's move back. All right, chat. Let's do some uh, let's do some Star Wars questions at this point. Uh, let's stay light side of the force here. Who's your favorite Jedi? And then following, what's your favorite lightsaber color? You spin my head right around, right around. Revan in black. Oh, dude, so you like uh, like the dark saber? That's sick. That's awesome. Okay, so I know there's a couple people in chat that don't know how this story ties together, but, and uh, I'm not necessarily telling you to go yes. do this, but there is a reason I picked these two colors for you. Yeah, exactly. Revan's in the middle. I know. He's my, uh, he's one of my all-time favorites. I feel like he's, like, one of the, the true original gray Jedi. Or at least one that could be considered to be, you know, a gray in, in some way. I've loved him since uh, since the moment I played this the very first time. 
Like, even before you figure out what's going on. I was like, this dude seems so badass. Okay. Alright, we are just going to explore every nook and cranny of these Shadowlands. And then maybe we'll kill. Malfunction. My primary motivators are in good Playback. I don't get it. That merchant said there was salvage down here. We need Matt and Tool. Playback. When he gets back, we'll. Wait, I'm getting something. Oh, good, it's Eli. Maybe he'll point. Playback. Eli, what are you. You got your money, you double crossing snake. We had a deal. Oh, boy. Playback. I don't get it. That merchant said there was... Playback. Playback. Oh, okay. Shutting down. Removing it and placing it in your packet. Enemy. <laughs> oh, no! Don't really care. Easy peasy. Ready! I'm here. Yes. God, I hate that noise so much. Like, so much, man. I don't even think I can attack these stupid things. Stop it. Okay. Where have I not? Ah, uh, it really was north. Okay, all right. My bad. Bye, Bindo. I'm gonna mess you up. Three of us, one of you. You will not last. I will kill you. Dude, I, I, I just want to be able to hurl my lightsabers at this thing. You'd find a way to kill them. Dude, I am like seriously considering it. Problem is, is I'm not getting like a... I can see that I can lock onto them. But there's no... Yeah. God damn it. They fucking suck so much. Bum 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 bum. You know, it's not often they tell you where rubble is. Something's down there. Oh! Alright. Go mess these dudes up. Come on. Man, that one went down quick. Rubble! What's up, Gravy? How you doing, bud? How's your night going so far, sir? <laughs> Is it bad that... Ah, hang on. Here we go. There we got. We got some dudes... We got some dudes over here. Oh, damn it. My fucking mouse just ruined everything. Hold on. We're gonna try it again. Ready? One, two, three. Huh. There we go. Boom. Beautiful. Same dudes. Feeling a little sick. Oh, dude, I'm sorry, man. What what kind of what kind of sickness is it? Merchant like that coral slime up on the docking ring? What be ailing you, my dude? I don't make deals, and I don't persuade easily, so go back topside. Mess with my profits and some deeds dead. Let's see if this thing actually posted. I feel like it didn't. Did it? Did it? Oh, it did not. Okay, that time it did. 
There we go. Oh god, I hate that noise. Maybe due to overworking and next to no sleep. That would definitely do it. I've got a job to do here, and there's nothing you or that old coot can do. About. I want to ask you a few questions. Uh, all right. What if I want you to just leave? Uh, is that old hermit Jolie trying to talk you into doing his dirty I want to kill them all. We've spent too much. I got no problem killing them all. Away. As long as the sonic emitters keep the preds away, and I've got bodies around the perimeter, we're staying. I mean, if I can put up with my own worthless guards complaining about this place, Jolie whining. <laughs> I don't need this kind of garbage from you. <laughs> Watch your m if you want something to say, get on with it. Otherwise, I should just kill you. No one will ever know. Murder, whatever is making that dude for real, right? All right, I'm done talking with you. You've got under my skin. I'm gonna kill him. He's probably gonna absolutely dust the floor with me. Because I'm pretty sure that was not the way you were supposed to do it. But fuck it. Those things are annoying, and I'm tired of his face. Commander Dern, you piece of shit. What? Go get him. Go get him. Okay, maybe we're not getting dusted here. Well, that was way easy, man. I am going to destroy that sound. And here's how I'm going to do it. Sound effects? I think that was it. Yeah. Yeah, that was that was the one. There. That's at least better for right now. Dude, for real, that sound is easily the most annoying thing I've ever heard in my life. It's like Jim Carrey doing the most annoying sound ever all the time. And there's no stopping it. And you were like, oh, it's funny in the movie. Now it's not funny anymore. Yeah, all right, so Joe Lee's going to be pissed as shit at me. But you know what? Totally worth it. 100% worth it. Because those guys sucked. But you know what? Just in case he's actually pissed at me. Uh, we are going to... Save up, just in case. Because he might be an old dude, but he's still a Jedi. And Jedi don't fuck around, man. God damn, fuck these mines. Now, how am I getting through this bullshit? Oh, I gotta get Jolie. Jolie, 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 Jolie. <laughs> Won't you please come and take these barriers down with me? Alright, Chad, I won't force you to listen to me sing anymore. If you can even call it that. You can't. My singing makes babies ugly cry. You'd think they'd give me the option to murder what is, what, what's making these noises. These weird little monkey looking things. Yeah, that's right. You better keep running. You better keep running. Go. Get the fuck out of here. Nasty things. Nasty, nasty things. Hang on. What was that? Aw, oh, man. This is a dead Wookiee. He had a bowcaster, though, dude. Holy shit. Alright. Where'd you go, Joe Lee? I think you're over here. Let's see if I'm right. I may or may not be. I got a bad feeling about this. I got a bad feeling about this, Luke. Why would they put these things all over this game? They knew it was going to piss you off. That's why. Because they fucking knew. Oh, god damn it. I went the wrong fucking way. Oh, son of a bitch. Well, shit balls.
Gravy, what'd you get into playing all weekend? I know we, uh, uh, I know we didn't get to, to hook up on Saturday night. I'm curious what you were up to on, on Sunday. All right, get ready. We're about to get our asses chewed the fuck out for this one. He told me specifically, don't go kill them. What'd I do? I walked up, I started shit, and I killed him. You slept through the majority of Sunday, so you weren't back. feeling good there either, I were wonder, you? have you had much luck? Have yeah, you done I as I asked? No, uh, you know, uh, the, the poachers are gone. Yes, I heard the fuss of it. I told you I wanted a non-violent solution. And I had my reasons for well, it. Well, then you should, should have, have done it, old that. man. Circa Corporation will find the bodies and blame the Wookiees. This may cause more troops to be deployed. Yeah, after that 60 plus hours, he was done. I'm not pleased. But what's done is done. I'm not here to judge you. Hopefully, you'll take care of that yourself. <laughs> yeah, can you see my eyes, old man? Uh, was most efficient way to stop them. That is true. I kill what I want. Don't argue with me, old man. Uh, yeah, two. I Heartless. See. You are completely detached. Uh huh. Are you sure you're not a droid? Very. Doesn't matter. A trivial thing like this is no measure of anyone. You mentioned barriers. There's a repulsor field I want to pass. Yes, yes. In the east past the poacher camp. I saw it when it was installed. It's a very effective barrier, but I know how to get past it. And on the other Please side, show me. ancient answers. And perhaps a Wookiee you are seeking. I hope he's in the mood for visitors. I bet he is. He joined my party. Alright, so we got him. We'll take two Jedi. That's pretty awesome. Yeah, it's a config I want. There was the barrier right there, yeah? Alright, so we need to go north and then east. Come on, Jolie. Let's GTFO, man. Rubble. I need that rubble. There's nothing in that rubble. They need an auto run feature here, man. That'd be sweet. Some of these maps are huge. Then again, this is a very old game. I know we're not going to get any updates. We can just go around this shit. That'd be nice. Man, I bet they both just ran right through that thing. Yep, she went right through it. Oh, we missed her! Fucking Basil walks into everything, dude. Everything. She's like a real dick about being like, uh, like a Jedi Master as far as what she's concerned too. Fucking walks into every trap. All right, Jolie, do your thing, man. Oh, you're yes. gonna make me do it, aren't you? Need? Oh, I gotta level your ass up, man. All right, do it up, dude. There, you see? Beautifully subtle, isn't it? At least compared to the other. It's only been here a short while, or the Wookiees would have disabled it. They wouldn't have had an easy time. Why place this thing here? But there are others, each blocking similar points on certain paths. It is all very calculated, very precise. It would have been effective if it hadn't relied on the creatures to be walking. Climbers don't have much trouble getting around. No, oh, we could have just climbed around it then. That's not a big deal. I can manipulate it for a moment. Uh, let me see. How did the Zerg engineers do it? Ah, uh, there we go. Now, keep moving. These are the a few surprises. Yeah, I'm good with it. Let's do it. Let's do it, man! Yes? I'm here. Yes, sure. Chat, you know what I'm doing. Saves all around, baby. Uh oh. Something cool's happening up here. Dude, that kick was savage. Uh oh. Save the Wookiee. 
see what you got. You cannot win. Holy shit, they're Mandalorian. Why the hell are there Mandos here? I still got it. You cannot win. Well, I mean, I suppose you can win, but I don't see why you would. Mesh underlay, nice. Why are they trying to sword fight a Jedi dude? Okay, so they've got those those crazy things called vibro blades. And a vibro blade can apparently stop a lightsaber. I guess they have like a little shimmery like it's something weird with the steel and the way those things work. So technically, in canon anyway, they they could. Um, I still call shenanigans, though. Lightsaber should go right through it. Yeah, 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 yeah. Why would you fight a master swordsman in melee? That's that's the better question. Okay, well, to be fair, Mandalorians are also highly trained warriors. So a Mando and a Jedi is actually a pretty interesting fight. That one, that one, I'm like, all right, I can see that being being a thing. But like all the other guys that you come up against, like it's hilarious. You come up and you like you start fighting them, and they all pull out swords. You know, it's like in all the old um, uh, martial arts movie how everybody everybody knew. You know, karate or taekwondo or something like that. All of a sudden, it's like, all right, let's go, man. You're like, seriously? Seriously, everybody? No, 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 no. But then, okay, so you're walking around. Your blaster is no longer effective because the guy walks within melee range. And you just pull out a sword. I, I would assume you must be well-trained. But there are many, many in here that we just chew through. <laughs> I'm going to have so many life deaths. No, no, not the light side points. I fucked up. Hang on a second. I can't, I can't allow it. I can't allow it. Hang on. Smarter way to go about it. Dude, for real, right? Like, just strap, strap like a uh, sticky grenade to, to a guy's chest or something. I don't know. But yeah, sword fights, that's just stupid. I can't have light side points. I'm going full dark side on this build. Dude, the fact that a Wookiee took out a Mando is kind of insane. Not to mention, dude comes running up behind you. And his entire party yanks out lightsabers. Man, I'm calling it. I gotta be like, dude, no way. I'm about to die. I got three Jedi behind me. This is this is not good for me. Still got it. Really good shit, man. Still got it. What's this it you're talking about, dude? Oh, that Mandalorian blaster might be pretty hot. Uh, I refuse to help weakling. Nice, real nice. Maybe later we can find some insects to pull the <laughs> legs off. Get huh? We should guard and protect those weaker than ourselves. Not. There we go. There are my dark side points. I feel bad, honestly. I really feel bad. But they don't give you much of a way to get out of uh, the light side shit. But. If you're gonna go, if you're gonna go dark side, you gotta be a dick. You just gotta be a dick about it. I need help and band aids. Go fuck yourself, you pussy. <laughs> wow, dude, did you really need to make fun of him? I did. He's weak. He's weak, and I don't want anything to do with him.
Wait, who died? No yes. one. That <laughs> hurt, I'm sure. That's actually pretty awesome. Are you a computer? Life forms detected. Determining parameters. Yes. Initiating neural recognition. Yes. yes. There's the thing. Obstinate machine. I've no doubt it holds what you seek. But good luck getting it up. Primary neural recognition complete. Preliminary match found. Match found. What the? It always muttered something about rejected patterns for me. Begin socialized interface. Awaiting instruction. Greetings. This terminal has not been accessed for quite some time. Oh. Error. Subject displays unfamiliarity to environment. Behavioral reconfiguration. I am sorry. I did not mean to confuse you. I will answer question. Ooh, sorry, chat. Accessing. Yes, I have found a star map in original system memory. Access is restricted. I'm gonna need that. Error. Data regarding... Your request requires additional security access. You must... How do I match them? There are measures available. Personality profiling will... With that, I will determine whether you are ready to receive the star map. Oh, I'm ready. Or can Let's be do made it. ready. I utilize a retro-adapted holocron interface. Clarify your questions. Error. Corruption. Error. It has since malfunctioned. It can be theorized <clears throat> that the supergrowth of... Well, that is surprising. I doubt any Wookiee would support such a claim. Malfunction occurred 241 years after last builder communication. Last builder communication... 29,640 This thing has been years here before forever. current Republic standard. Error. Information mm. regarding the builders of this install. No evidence of such a civilization exists in the galactic record. All right. Answer will be given. Accessing. Yes, I have found... Uh, what do I need to do to get access? I have been programmed with a very limited field of knowledge. Accessing. Yes. Error. Data regarding off. Your request requires a. There are measures available. Okay. Personality profile. With that, I will determine. Information unavailable. If you have, have further, further questions, questions, ask them now. Access will terminate. Evaluation Begin. commencing. Result will be compared against the pattern in memory. Just act like you should. You what? travel with a Wookiee and have encountered complications. Hypothetical. You and this Zalbar are captured and separated. If you both remain silent, one year in prison for each of you. However, call Zalbar a traitor and he will serve five years. While you serve none, he is offered the same deal. But if you both accuse the other, you both serve two years. What do you do? 
What do you trust him to do? <clears throat> Are you sure? If you turn, you risk two years, or none at all. Your loyalty is dangerous. Your companion could take <clears throat> the opportunity. Zalbar's family is mired in treachery. What? What do they know? Your answer is incorrect. Bullshit. I refuse to alter it. You cannot refuse. Evaluation must continue. You mu I must demand honest All acceptance right, of the fine. property. The previous incorrect response will be discounted. Shoot hypothetical. You are at war. Deciphering an intercepted code. You learn two things Ooh. about your enemy. A single spot in their defense will be at its weakest in ten days. And they will attack one of your cities in five days. What do you do with this information? What is the most efficient course of action? Attack in 10 days and dumping Very the city. good. If you had moved to evacuate the city, you would have alerted the enemy take to their computer part and take, <laughs> take the victory star map. Dude, required right? the deaths of the people in that city. You wisely ignored sentiment in your decision. Yeah, that's because that's what I did the first time. Victory is irrelevant. Stopping the war. Save many more people. That's right. The deaths of those people would spur my forces on. Very good reasoning. Ooh. I will apply it to the rest of Number the Number three, my lord. You begin to match the pattern in memory. Yeah. Hypothetical. Remove the ongoing war from the previous example. Consider enemy states to be weak and remote. With no external threat, your empire stagnates. Your people become complacent and begin to question you. Nah, Same man. scenario as before. You discover an impending attack, All but right. also a weakness that will come after. How do you react? I let the attack happen. Of course you do. It makes the most strategic sense. Your people will rally beneath you against the common foe. Gamma and Alpha, what's going on? Work. How Your are you doing tonight? Strengthen. Welcome aboard. The trappings of war grant many opportunities. You have matched the pattern in memory. I recognize you and will fulfill my designated function. Yes, you will. Give me access to the star map. Yes, you are ready. Soon you will recognize the proper course to follow. The star, the star map, map is, is yours. yours. This unit has now completed its primary duty and has finished with activation of star map commencing. Parameters reset. Funny Stages that we all call it exactly the same and thing. Communication. It's a star map. It's a star map. Dude, these things are so cool looking. Just wanted to see who's playing one of the best games in creation. Dude, you are so right. This is easily one of my most well, favorite well, all-time games. Star map. An ancient artifact of dark side power. I played it I way too many times. I always knew there was something funny down here. I wonder if the star map has had an effect on the evolution of the creatures here in the Shadowlands. Could be. I mean, it's been here for 30,000 so years. Down here. An interesting theory, but I suppose we don't have time to test it now, do we? Now that we've got what you came for, we should be heading back up to the treetops. I take it he's coming with. <laughs> I was wondering, can I can I trigger it again? No. Alright, I got what I wanted. Let's GTFO. Ah It would do that. Swoop bikes. Hmm. It's not a bad idea. I wonder if it'll let me use those to get the fuck out of here. Come on. Yeah, man, I love this game though. This is like I remember the first time I played through this, it was just absolutely phenomenal. And just completely sucks you into everything that's going on in it. Man, I bet I can use these bikes. Let's see what about you? Do nothing. Damn, I was hoping it would let me use it. One of my runs on the dark side, run at the ending, uh, you felt so bad. Oh, see, okay, so this is my first time going full dark side. And uh, 
I have to say, I'm not doing poorly. <laughs> but I've also let it, uh, been letting it just straight up auto level everybody. Uh, but yeah, that's where I'm, I'm sitting currently. But I haven't, I don't know what the dark side ending is like because I've never actually completed it. So that's what that that's one of the things that's going to be really fun about this whole uh, this run on here. I'm actually pretty excited about it. Where am I going over here? Upper Shadowlands. All right, fine. We'll go all the way north. You've done all three, Staller? Holy shit. I need a faster run option. I yelled at him. I didn't heal him. <laughs> Felt bad about that one, too. <laughs> oh my god, no one spoil it. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, obviously, I know who the character is, which is cool, but I don't know... I don't know what he does if you go dark side, which is, I'm very excited to see. And I never spoiled it for myself either, so now that I'm thinking about it, I guess I'm going to have a full-blown new uh, new reaction. I thought, I, I kind of thought the endings were the same, but now I'm thinking, not so much, dude. Sick. Also, I love the fact that his physical features actually change as he goes farther and farther onto the dark, uh, into the dark side. That's really cool. Like you get the uh, the yellow eyes, your face gets kind of sunken. Oh, one of them is totally hitting that. Oh, they both did. They look more messed up, man, like for real, and it's so sick looking. Plus I got like the rebreather on him and everything, so he's looking real sithy. He's looking real Sith Lordy. I right, know which way. I think I want to go basket up, yep. Also, if you know any of your canon, these color lightsabers uh, are very distinct of said person. Which is like a little hint that I was throwing out there, because I never know who's in chat and what their, you know, what their experience with games like this are. Alright, Gore Wookin, take me back up. Just take me up for now. I think I can ditch the whole storyline if I go back up and go straight to the Ebonhawk because I've got my star map. And that's realistically all I need. That's even more of a dick move. <laughs> Let me look, though. Let me look, because I'm going to feel real bad. Oh, yeah, I didn't go find that damn Wookiee. Yeah, I'm not so concerned with a, with a Mad Claw. So actually, no, nope, still won't let me go there. Wow, damn. Do I have to do it? I probably have to do it. All right, fine. Fine, Gore Wookin, take me down. Go ahead, go ahead. Where the hell was he? Alright, we've explored all of this, so we should go... Should go clear across. Man, it took a year and a half to get back over. According to the Sith book that I have, red crystals aren't like other force crystals. They're actually manufactured. Correct. Yeah, they're artificial. Uh, but not entirely sure because you can collect them in this game from caves. Yeah, that is kind of weird. Um, I think at the time this game was released, the Sith using red artificial crystals, which are technically stronger than the regular ones, um, was not yet canon. I think that was like, because this game is like, what, 2003? So we're looking at, what, 16 years ago, right? Yeah. Yeah, 16? Yeah. And I don't think they'd really gotten into the ins and outs of, like, what makes these things the way they are. Because they've, they've even changed it again in canon now. Now, uh, what a Sith does if they want to get that red... Gamma, thank you for that follow! Uh, I know that if they want that red, they actually have to bleed the crystal through pain and agony. And they actually have to force the crystal to abide by their will, which is nuts. 
and it's like a real big deal. So like the artificial crystals no longer exist, but the Sith have red because they poured you know hatred, malice, and agony into uh, said crystal. Which is fucking crazy. All right, Jolie, open up. Here we are. Yes, get as fast as you can. There a few surprise. Go ahead. We're going in, man. We're going in. All right. I'm guessing he's probably in this area right there. Never knew that, but yeah, dude, that it's insane. There's a whole section in, um, so Marvel, well, not Marvel, but Disney does like a whole bunch of, uh, comics, uh, that are all canon now, which is pretty cool. Um, but there's a whole section in there where Vader kills a Jedi, takes his green crystal, and then goes to the, the area where his castle will eventually be. Uh, and tortures the crystal up until the point that it finally turns red and then brings it back to Palpatine to show him he's, you know, completed his, his path as a Sith. It was wild, man. It was so wild. Oh, these guys are gonna go get themselves killed. You need to heal first, you dipshits. Yeah, they fucked you up. It's a pretty cool concept, though. But then you've got characters like I look at Dooku, and I'm like, man, there's no way that dude sat around and put, like, actual hate into, uh, into his blade, you know? Like, he just seemed too calm and collected. And I feel like Sith are just, like, rage monsters. Then I Dooku, do? Dooku's a weird duck, man. Dooku is a weird character. Yes? Let's pop down here. I'm gonna find my rogue Wookiee here in a second. And I'm gonna get all the XP that I can. <laughs> Rage monster for the win. Hell yeah, dude. Hashtag Empire did nothing wrong. <laughs> grab that? I feel like I missed it. Alright, where the hell is this Wookiee? This exp oh, no, nope, here we go. Expressly pissed off Wookiee. I had to give Basila the blue blade. I know hers is supposed to be yellow, but I had to do it up. Blown up planets comes with the territory. It's harder. <laughs> <laughs> Being a badass is tough, man. <laughs> Everybody assumes it's all just Star Destroyers and candies, but no, man. When you gotta make an example, you have to make a fucking example. I'm here. Yes? What? Alright. Alright, we're gonna try going down this way. What's the deal, chat? Where the hell is this Wookiee? Okay. Alright, alright. Ancient symbols here. Worn is a trace by generations of Wookiee claws. There's the most, okay. Uh oh. Feed the beast and it will heed your call. Take vipers from their lair and hang them from above. Yeah, this ain't gonna end well. We're gonna do a nice little quick save here. Tie Viper to the core to the the right. Yep, there we go. Ugh, that looks nasty. Hello. That was pretty awesome. All right. Let's get him. Let's get him. 
What can I do? Sure. I'm here. Hey, Vasla, you are gonna be Not my this healer. Again. Never mind, he down. Skin is growing around it. Nasty. Appears to be missing a hilt, obviously. Sorry, came apart when the blade lodged with the creature. Sharp, pointy fangs. Dude, I'm going to take all this stuff, man. I need... Did I get the thing? Did I get the thing? I think I got the thing. Yeah, I got the thing. All right. Hang on. Let's see what we got back here. Have I... Yeah, I did Manon last time. Manon is still my favorite. Oh, you did. Manon is still like my favorite world, dude. You know, I did it differently this time, though. I went and I just straight up poisoned the water, which I've never done before. I've always, like, uh, it's my favorite planet, too, man. I don't know why. It's just, it's, like, it's surprisingly chilled out because it's, like, this big ocean planet and it's, like, a nicer version of, like, Camino. But, like, this is a rough planet to be on. But, yeah, no, I love Manan. I think it's really cool. It's just got this cool look to it. I remember the first time I played it, I was just completely blown away. It's like, oh, this is amazing. I'm going to go up and around just so I can explore the whole map. But yeah, and then there's that whole section of underwater where you're in the suit. and Oh, man, this is so fun. <laughs> it's so fun. They, uh, they, like, knocked that whole section out of the park. It's amazing this was able to run on an Xbox back in the day. I don't remember it being more than one disc either, but it easily could have been, you know, a two or three disc. I think if I remember right, too, because uh, I had a copy of it for Xbox, and then I had a copy of it on PC as well. And the PC one was like four or five discs, if not more. But if I remember right, I think the Xbox one was only one. It was insane. Such a good game. And it's crazy, man. They're, they're still trying to capture this experience today. You know, make games closer to the way this one works. And that's just never going to happen. <laughs> you can only bottle lightning once. I'll pick up whatever's on this Wookiee. Okay, that's good. That is that is what I needed. Okay. First time visiting, I was just, like, amazed because the, uh, the rest of the game is dark. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That, you know, that's exactly what it is. Manon is, like, really light and airy and just kind of, like, makes you feel good the whole time. It was relaxing. Yeah. I remember literally just walking around and looking at the water being, like, Holy shit, how did they come up with this idea? This is so cool. And are we ever going to see this in the movies? Because that would be awesome. I also thought it was a really interesting... Uh, having just done it, you know, like last week, uh, it's like fresh in my head, but the whole idea that the planet was like super neutral, that was cool. That's a really cool idea. Hell yeah. Get me in there. Come on. Back here, back here, back here. Oh, this one I can just straight up open. That sucks. Okay. But yeah, it was such a weird thing where, like, the, uh, the Sith and the Republic are just, like, taunting each other, but they can't fight each other, or they'll, like... What was the... They, they'll either, uh... Do I stream often? Uh, I'm every night, man, uh, except Sundays and Mondays. I take those two days off, uh, but every other night, 8.30 EST, you can find me on here. Um, I'm, a, I'm a variety streamer, so I do a lot of, lot of stuff uh, during the week. Uh, so like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I usually do some kind of a game playthrough. Then Friday, Saturday, I usually do uh, Sea of Thieves on Friday. Uh, and then we usually do some kind of uh, good multiplayer on on Saturday night. So we kind of like try to keep it from, you know, like getting stuck into one game, especially with like playthroughs and stuff. Um, but I've worked through quite a few games at this point. 
Uh, everything from like Breath of the Wild. I just finished up Far Cry 5 the other night. Um, there was one I did that was exceptionally long. Far Cry was actually a really long playthrough. That was a surprisingly long game. I think on average most people spend about 22 to 27 hours getting through that one. That was that one lasted me like a month. Um which was good. I like a good long playthrough. This one, I want to say I'll probably be able to knock out and let's see if we're getting through Kashyyyk tonight. That's just going to leave us Korriban tomorrow probably. I'm ready. Take me up now. Um, so let's see if we did, if we we're able to knock out Kashyyyk tonight, Korriban tomorrow, and then I guess that kind of leaves us Endgame on Thursday, would be my guess. And if not, then it'll probably be, you know, next Monday, or next Tuesday, that I'd be able to knock all the rest of it out. I've also got Knights of the Old Republic 2 that I plan on playing through at some point, too. Uh, that one I think I only play through once or twice. I didn't actually, like, go bonkers uh, like I did with this one. Run, dun, 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 dun. I'm trying to think of the other games that I've done full-blown, full, like, completed, completed the game playthroughs, and, uh... Uh, Diablo. We did a campaign playthrough on Diablo 3. I'd like to finish up my uh, campaign playthrough for Diablo 2. That was fun. But there's been a bunch. Uh, I need to finish up Assassin's Creed Black Flag. For sure. That's one I feel bad that I didn't finish. And I know for a fact, it's really unfortunate, I know for a fact my save game is gone. So when I get back into that one, I'm going to have to start it from scratch, but that's okay. Because I plan on playing it on Xbox instead of doing it on PC. Because uh, I feel like the control scheme is better and I don't want to mess around like, plugging in. Ultimate Alliance, hell yeah, that's coming up after this. Yeah, we're going to do Ultimate Alliance 3 after this for sure. But I've got a couple of the uh, the Assassin's Creeds I want to work through. Uh, I've got Odyssey that I want to play through. I need to finish up Mario Odyssey because I got about halfway through that. I got a lot of stuff, dude. I got a lot of stuff. Like so much stuff. Speaking of which, if you guys have a Switch and have not played Super Mario Odyssey, you are missing one of the best games on that platform. Holy Jesus, that's a good game. Oh my god. It's amazing. And it will... Here, I can turn up my sound effects again now. Now that the monkey thing is gone. But holy crap, is that a good game. Doing yourself a disservice if you haven't gotten around to it. Here's the damn Wookiee guard. Let me in. I need to go talk to your boss, man. Village. Alright. Where's Big Chungus? He's down there. I know, chat. His name is Chandar, but it's way more fun calling him Big Chungus. Black Flag is one of the uh, one of the good ones, dude. It's so good. I don't really like the games that came after that. They kind of just forgot about the storyline. Uh, I don't play. I uh, don't know if you played one, two. They're much better when it comes to in depth. Yes. So my favorite out of all of them was Assassin's Creed One. Uh, two was good, but I felt like it went on way too long. Uh, and then all the spinoffs on two. I never really got into any of those. Three was decent. I, I had a good time with three. Fell off the map. Uh, played about 60% of Black Flag, and uh, that was up there with one. That was incredible. Uh, then I've got a bunch of the other ones that I've collected. So, like, I think I got, like, Rogue, which actually sounds like the storyline was pretty good on that one. <clears throat> but I, again, not enough. Be thankful your time in this world. Okay, so I clearly have not picked up what I needed to. That's annoying. 
All right, well, I'm just going to go back to the Evan Hawk because fuck this. I don't care about these guys. Holder of the Laws. Home of the Worm Will. <clears throat> so, okay, I just need to go north. <clears throat> um, I, I absolutely. Oh, Basla, there's always something on your How mind. Can I help? You want to talk to me? I do. I've been watching you, studying you closely to see what kind of progress you've made since your training at the hands of Master Zar. <laughs> we both know the real reason you're watching me. Yeah, I'm gonna be slimy. Let's do it. Actually, yeah, there we go. You never give up, do you? No, I don't. I admit, I'm interested <gasps> in you. I find you intriguing, compelling, <gasps> even, but it's not what you think. You have a great gift. You're she just admitted it. The force. She that admitted it. When I think of how you might misuse it, I make you tremble. Do you get all tingly inside too? What? No, of course not. Not like that, anyway. In many ways, you are... You are dangerous. You could be the savior of the galaxy. Or you could bring... I make her tremble. ...destruction upon us all. I've seen you give in to temptation and indulge your baser emotions on many occasions. I'm afraid you are on the path that leads to the dark side. You need to see what the dark side represents in its entirety. For it is what we battle. Only the wisdom of a Jedi Master can truly explain this. But I will do my best to make you understand. What are you trying to tell me? The dark side is not simply giving in to anger, temptation, or to use the force to destruct events. I look like These Bane. These things only lead to the dark side. The dark side grows stronger and more insidious the closer you draw to it. Now how it would you know that? It you to surrender to it, to release all its terrible power. And it becomes harder and harder to resist. And yeah, she wants it to get harder and harder. It's too late. <laughs> It twists you up inside and turns you into a mockery of everything you once stood for. Maybe. You seem to know that temptation very well. I am no less resistant to temptation than any other. I simply have the benefit of training that you do not. But even the training of the Jedi might not be enough to save us. We need only to look at the atrocities which have been committed by those under its sway to understand the terror. Okay, well, well hang on, Basla, hang on. Instead, and far more there are suffering. quite a few atrocities sort of attributed to, to the Jedi as well, too. Deeds gladly. The reasoning for those out. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you saying the light side isn't. Right, right. One who serves the light does not strike down an innocent. We take arms against the dark side and the injustice that follows it only. Yeah, but all you have to do is witch hunt and go, dark side user, horror. kill him. That we have unlimited control, vigilance, and foresight. If only that were true. The Sith have become powerful because there are many Jedi who've succumbed to the lure of the dark side and joined their cause. What greater weapon is there than to turn an enemy to your cause? To use their own knowledge against them. We are weakened while they are strengthened, so we must harden our hearts and Basta, do you're killing me, girl. To fight against the dark side. I'll turn Even you, don't when worry. The battle becomes wearying. Do whatever is required. That sounds so absolute. I don't know. The vision of our future is clouded by shadows cast from the dark side. But Dude, I he has got some skinny pants on. Shadows, but words alone cannot save one from the dark side. Come, we should continue with the task at hand. When the time comes, he has got them skinny pants on, chat. What we must. Oh, he's looking, he's looking beastly. He is looking beastly, man. Let's make sure we get a good save in here. <sighs> chat, I can't tell you how much I love my stream deck. Being able to program all that in so that I don't have to manually do that every time is awesome. Am I a Grey Jedi or a Sith in this game, or would you say, like, in real life? Because uh, in real life, I would very, very much be uh, Grey Jedi-oriented. Uh, I feel like the original Jedi that um, <clears throat> figured out how to use both the light and the dark were the best. The balance of the two is so important. Uh, me personally, yeah, gray. I would, I would go gray. I feel like you have to know both sides. You know, you have to know both sides to truly know the actual nature of the Force. And just to lock yourself out of one because you're afraid of it, or afraid of what it could do to you, suggests that you're extremely, extremely weak to it. And you have no, no resistance or knowledge of it? No way. 
What about you guys? What, what are you guys thinking? If, if, if you had your way, would you go Jedi, Sith, or Grey someplace in the middle? I'd love to know what you guys are thinking. So I feel like I catch hell for the gray thing because everybody's like, oh, it's a cop out. You don't have to pick one or the other. Well, yeah, that's the point. That's the point. You need to know both. More powerful than you can possibly imagine? Cool, I can use both sides. That's more powerful than you can possibly imagine. But, but, there is a major drawback. Major, major drawback. Only, only a light side user can come back as a force ghost. <clears throat> so that's kind of a big deal. That's kind of a big deal. Talking about true immortality. I don't know if it's just me, but the more and more we see actual force ghosts in the movies, we're starting to see them less ethereal and more like, uh oh. And more like physical body. I didn't drop anything. Yeah, I'll go, uh, thanks. Ah, uh, he just messed me. What did you do? Gray, probably. I tried to look at all sides. If not gray, then Jedi. I'm too goody, too shoe to be Sith. Yeah, I'll be honest, like, there's no way I could pull off being a full-blown Sith. Like, I could imagine learning the techniques, but I could never, I could never truly adopt the lifestyle. That would be, that would be hell to me. Like, being, being bad for the sake of power, I mean, I couldn't do it. I wouldn't be able to do it. <clears throat> And some of what they require, like you look at episode three in Anakin with the younglings. Yeah, no, no, too far, too, 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 too far. I get fighting to protect yourself and the people that you love, but just mur straight murder. Nah, man, couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. I, I would be the worst Sith because I'd be in the corner like just rocking myself and crying. <laughs> yeah, like be a superhero and never a villain. Dude, for real. Helena. I'm Bastilius. I take it that you know my mother. Apparently. Is there something I can do for you, miss? As you can see, we're in quite a hurry. I wonder what's going on here. I don't actually remember this. My mother's condition. Oh, yeah. Desperate to I've find you. my mother since I joined the order. Do you know what's happened? Did she... Very ill, so she told me. Didn't say anything about your father, however. I didn't see him. Where did you meet her? Do you remember? She'd be there for a while. Maybe she's still... Thank you for informing me. I really... Seems my mother's been looking for me. We have to go back to Tatooine. Great. Should we get the opportunity? Could we look for? Yeah. It's important all enough right, that my mother fine. was attempting to seek me out. Part of me would rather not see her at all. But as long as I don't get light side points for it, bitch, I'm good. <laughs> yeah, dude, I'd never be able to be a villain. I feel like. Uh, I feel like it's just. Everybody wants to be a villain because it's cooler, you know, like the, the 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 freedom of choice, right, is what a villain lives by. But like, man, I just I have my codes and I stick to them, dude. And my codes are usually usually a moral compass and not just like, oh, well, that works for you, but not necessarily like, you know, your your standard moral compass. I don't know. I'm always going to be a cap or a Superman. Like 100 percent. I could never be a Wolverine or a Deadpool. I could never be a Deadpool. Or a Cyclops. I'd be a Cyclops, a Cap, a, you know. There's just no... <laughs> There's no way, man. Alright. Let's get our butts to Korriban. That's my man, Korriban.
There we go. Sorry, chat. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I touched like the one thing, the one connector. <laughs> I shouldn't have done it. I shouldn't have done it. Let's make that hyperspeed jump. I can't tell you how many times as a kid watching these movies, watching them make the jump to hyperspace, I just sat there with the biggest look on my face. Just this is awesome! What happened to you? What's going on? Sith interdictor ship. They must have been waiting for us on the hyperspace route. We're caught in their tractor beam. Ship bug. Do you recognize the ship? It's the Leviathan. Saul Karras vessel. I own it. I'm done fighting. Oh shit. Stop doing that. So truth be told, chat, this game is so old that its resolution is utter garbage. And I had to run four different patches to get it to 1080p. Oh, if light speed travel was possible, would I go? No. No, I wouldn't. Because of the time differential? No way. I'd have to uh, be one of these guys that never had a family or anything. He was a legend in the Republic fleet. A hero to me until he betrayed us. When the Sith attacked my homeworld, the Leviathan, which is Saul Karen's flagship, was at the head of the fleet. My family was destroyed that day, and my wife died in the Sith bombardment. <laughs> uh, this is the chance to avenge the yeah, the deaths of your family. It's not the way of the Jedi. Vengeance. Let's do it. Emotion. These things lead to the dark side. I'm not gonna do anything stupid. I mean, I won't throw our lives away in some vengeance, but Yeah, that's exactly the point. Yeah, I, kill Saul any, escape, you'd be gone for thousands of years. Talk of an escape is somewhat premature, uh, don't you think? We don't even have what's the book to get out of this mess yet. No, you were on uh, the Ender's Game series last time. Cool. Last time we were talking about books. Either. Count on plenty of guards watching every movie. Maybe Admiral Karath doesn't know how many of us there are on board. We all have special talents. Talents we could exploit so that one of us could stage a rescue. Hell yeah. We just have to figure out who has the best chance to avoid capture so they can come and rescue us later. It's a long shot, but it's our only hope. Speaker for the dead. Yes. Nice. Don't worry. I can get away from Admiral Karen's guards. Battle meditation here? Actually, that's a great question. The Admiral will be watching the three of us far too closely for any plot involving you, me, or Karth to succeed. Mm -hmm. It's going to be up to one of the others to get us out of this. Well, if we're gonna pick someone to save our skins, we better do it quick. In another minute, we're gonna have Sith troops marching up our loading ramp. Dude, he kind of looks like a badass, not gonna lie. I'm digging. I'm digging my little look here, dude. Uh... K-47 could come and rescue us. What about Joe Lee? Yeah, I kind of like that idea. I don't think I could use my force powers to convince a whole squadron of troopers to let me go free, but maybe I can... I look like I have a tiny ship on my base, dude, cell. right? They'll probably only leave a single guard to watch over an old man like me. I could use the force to convince the guard to set me free. Then I could free the rest of you. It seems like a stretch. Okay, Jolie, the fate of the crew is in your hands. Hold on. Fuck They're it. dragging us into the docking bridge. Let's see what happens. I don't think I've ever gone with Jolie before. Bastila, Karth, and the crew have been taken prisoner as you ordered, Commander. Excellent. Have you searched the ship thoroughly? Admiral Karth walked Dude, I kind of like their, their crazy-ass uh, uniforms. They actually look request. like they're wearing real armor. And why do you think this old man should be segregated? I, I'm not sure, Commander. After speaking with him, I just, I, I just think we should question <laughs> him away from the others. I, I agree, Commander. I, I. After speaking with the old man, I think we should question him away from the others. Yeah. Very well, the admiral is probably too busy to bother with this old man anyway. Take him to solitary confinement for interrogation. Report back to me if you learn anything. Jolie's gonna end up being the biggest badass on the whole planet. 
Oh, well, they stripped everyone down. Far too long since we last spoke. I see the recent months have not been kind in your case. I barely recognized you. But I recognize you, Saul. I see your face every night, even as I promise myself I will kill you for what you did to my whole world. Did you learn nothing in your time under me? He's so fast. As a pissed. soldier, you should understand the casualties were unavoidable. This was an act of war. It was a cowardly act of betrayal. Your fleet bombed a civilian target into oblivion without warning or provocation, and the blood of those innocent people is on your hands. Karth is war the innocent must die. The Sith would not accept me until I proved I had truly turned my back on the Republic by bombing the planet. My wife died in that yes. attack, Saul. And for that, I swear I'll kill you. You used to be a man of action, not of empty words. Cling to your lust for revenge if you must, but spare me your time. See, like, even this dude had, before. like, a red initiation. You're an insignificant That's part of these events, anyway. Lord Malak is far more interested in your Jedi companions. He has great plans for them. What about we will us? never serve Malak or the Dark Side. Dang, with that push-up draw, though. The Sith will be destroyed, that. Admiral Karath. As will you if you don't turn away from this path. Your words are brave, bastard. How come Karth and I are, like, completely dressed and they were just like, Nah, man, we're gonna so strip her down. Told. I wonder if your companion is as devoted to the light as you are. No, definitely not. Dude, my underoos are awesome looking. Can I just run around in that, actually? I look like a fucking superhero. <laughs> For the right offer, I could probably be convinced to join the Sith. Your loyalty is as fickle as ever, <laughs> I see. Malak will find that amusing, though I seriously doubt he will want you above all people at his side. The Dark Lord would probably reward this guy totally if I just recognizes you once me. And for all, but he may want to question you given the trouble you've caused him and the history between you. History? What are you talking about? You mean, oh, this can't be true, can it? You really don't know what's going on here, do you? Well, I won't be the one to deprive Malik of the pleasure of telling you himself. The Dark Lord will no doubt torture you for information and for his own twisted pleasure. Eventually, you will tell him everything. The Sith can be very persuasive. However, Lord Malak is in another sector. It may be some time before he arrives, so I suppose I will have to fill in for him until then. Activate the torture fields. Activate the torture fields. Ah! That's so... Ah, it's so fucked. I don't want them to pass out before I question them. Malak will appreciate any information I can give him when he arrives. Don't waste your breath, Saul. We won't answer any of your questions. I'm sure you will. We'll get screenshots However, of her. I know your friend's loyalties have proven in the past to be somewhat... I want to get one of mine. There we go. I am interrogating you, not the other way around. You will answer questions, not ask them. Want to bet? Time to I'll ask questions all fucking night. I doubt torturing you will gain me your true cooperation. Your will is too strong to be broken that way. Yeah, here However, we are in torture even chambers. The strongest of heroes has trouble watching those they care about suffering. Yeah. The interrogation will begin now. Each time you refuse to answer or give me a false answer, Bastila will suffer. What happens if. You expect me to fall for such a transparent ploy? You travel halfway across the galaxy with someone. I'm curious what happens. Feel nothing for each other. I tire of these games. Now I want answers. On what planet is the Jedi Academy at which you were trained? Alderaan. It's on Alderaan. Alderaan is nothing but a planet of artisans <laughs> and philosophers. There is Dantooine. A we're on there. Dantooine. You must think this is a game. I Very do. Well, this is the price of your resistance. <laughs> Enough. See what happens when you try to defy me. This no. first question was a test. Obviously, Malak knew the academy was on Dantooine, and it has since been destroyed by our fleet. Oh, Dantooine is a empty graveyard now. Nothing is there but a smoking ruin and the charred remains of your former masters. All right. I never liked them anyway. A brave front, but your feigned indifference does not fool me. Should. Your masters are eradicated, along with any hope of someone rescuing you. Okay. Now, tell me your mission. How were the Jedi planning on using you to stop Lord Malak and our Sith Armada? Where's the smart-ass one? We've been sent to assassinate Lord Malak. Do you take me for a fool? Yes. The Jedi are not assassins. They would never devise such a plan. Perhaps you need a reminder of the consequences I mean, of you just showed me less than 35 seconds no. ago. Uh, no! Uh, 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 Listen. 
hear her suffering. I can hear her suffering just fine. I spare her further pain by simply answering my question. Nah, man, it's now cool. I, will I can do this all day. On what mission did the Jedi Council send you? Never betray the Republic. You're a sick and evil man, Saul. Perhaps another lesson. Sure. Is in order. I mean, she'll no. just pass out eventually. Ah, no! I beg you, no! Mercy! No! no. I am surprised she did not pass out sooner. Rarely have I seen someone withstand such punishment and remain conscious. Are oh, you going to start doing I see the cars now? My time here. When Malak arrives, you will learn my interrogation techniques are considered merciful among the Sith. Well, I, mean, I will you're leave just you here in your pain. cell with a small taste of the horrors you will suffer when Lord Malak arrives. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> she is done. Don't try to move too quickly. You might not be fully recovered yet. Admiral Carath had his guards continue to torture you even after you passed out. They tortured all of us, though you got the worst of it by far. Saul wanted them to make us suffer. He's become some sort of sadistic monster. The dark side has perverted him path. Once you start down the tainted path, it leads you ever further into the depths of evil. <laughs> he is forever lost. Dude, his suit looks awesome. Blah, blah, blah. Don't you ever get tired of being so preachy? This is not a matter to joke about. If there is one thing we can learn from Saul, it's how the power of the dark side can corrupt even the bravest of heroes. Sorry, forgive me. Snapping at you like that won't help our situation. I suppose I'm taking the news of Dantooine's destruction quite hard. First Taras, now the Academy. Is there no end to the killing? There really isn't. That it is true, he us. might be lying. But even as he said the words, I knew they were true. The Academy is gone. We should have felt a disturbance in the Force when the attack came. The fact that we did not is a bad sign. I fear the dark side is growing stronger, casting shadows our vision See, copies. that's pretty, pretty likely. I that some of the Jedi escaped. Rook, Vendar, Zar. I cannot imagine all of them being gone. In any case, we've lost our one place of refuge in the galaxy. None of this will matter if we don't get out of this prison before Saul gets back. See, now he's thinking. Saul I'm not afraid of him. Malik was on his way. I think the Admiral left to prepare for his arrival and to report the results of our interrogation. It Which is for Zill. you were able to resist the Admiral's questioning. The fate of the galaxy could be changed by revealing the slightest piece of vital information. I have to confess something. There was a moment, just a moment. When part of me was hoping you would tell him that what That moment you think your monitor looks so damn slow, you look at the, the hertz and realize it went back to 59. Oh, no. I hate random updates, too, right? That's the story of my life, man. Saul would have tortured us no matter what I told him. I've known Admiral Kareth a long time, and I think you're right. The interrogation was a sham. Saul was toying with us. He didn't care what we told him. Nah, he didn't I think it was just an bug. excuse to torture us before Malak arrived. Yes. Did you feel that? A disturbance in the Force. The Admiral has sent his message. The Dark Lord knows we're here now. Malak, Malak is, coming. is coming. Well, then we better hope Jolie busts us out of here before he arrives. <laughs> yeah, where the hell's the old man? God, I need to speak with you. <laughs> what do you want, old man? You better not be trying to cause any trouble or you'll be sorry. The cell is too drafty. My old bones could catch a chill in here. We don't want that. You better let me out. He gave in to pre order. Uh, yes, you can't it's wait too for it. drafty in there. Your old bones might catch a chill. We don't want that. Get out of there. You shouldn't have let me out, Sonny. That was wrong. Admiral Kareth won't be too happy with you disobeying his orders. Yes. What I did was wrong. Very wrong. <laughs> you deserve to be locked up in the cell for disobeying orders. Yes. I deserve to be locked up for disobeying orders. Oh my god, orders. you've already got Jedi Fallen Order? Or you pre-ordered it. Nice. <sighs> what, what just happened? What am I doing in here? Damn you, old man. I'll kill you if I ever get out of here. You never get then out I'll of be there. sure to never let you out. Goodbye, sonny. <laughs> Goodbye, sonny. You big dumb bastard. You're the one that totally let me out of my cell. Now I'm running around with nothing but my boxes. Oh, this is going to be interesting. Uh, okay then. 
I'm just gonna jump him. Nope, that was a terrible plan. Absolutely garbage plan. <laughs> Alright. There we go. There we go. That actually seems to be doing a pretty good job. Not bad. But what can I pick up from you? I need shit. Do you have stuff? Block key. Good. Alright, you know what we need to do just to be on the safe side. Oops. Son of a bitch. There we go. Alright, I bet we got something down here. I can't bust into that with my bare hands. I can't. Oh my balls. Huge mistake. Huge, 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 huge mistake. Oh, another one. Well, they're not chasing me. That's just dumb. Half-naked man just walked in. You guys took a couple shots at him and then fucking forgot about it? These are the best troopers I've ever seen. I mean, Star Wars is renowned for guys who can't shoot straight. These guys literally didn't care that I walked in there. Those guys might, though. Yeah, right. Fuck it. It's either that or get on the elevator. Man, that's a lot of them, though. How am I getting around them? Saber throw. Wait a minute. The captain of all the James are not playing Sea of Thieves. Not at the moment, dude. Okay, droid upgrades. This is great. Yeah, this helps me not even a little bit. Why would you give this to me? I need weapons, man. Not those kind of weapons. Actual weapons. Alright, hold on. Do I have repair parts? Yes, I do. Optimize. Patrol mode. Okay. Go do your thing. Go get them. Go get the bad guys. Yeah, 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 yeah. Up there. Go get them. Go get them. While you're getting them, I'm gonna cross the road here. Uh, yes! What's happening in here? Aha! I think he killed one of them. I think he killed more than one of them. I mean, I did optimize his weaponry, that does help. Holy shit, he did! <laughs> Get him! Shoot him! Nice. Oh, you guys don't have anything? Are you kidding me? Good job, droid man. Been sailing alone and doing black powder. Are you serious? All by your onesie? Alright, we're gonna keep working. See if we can't find our friends. Tension area. Oh man, this is gonna end well. Holy Jesus! What is that? <laughs> Partial with the what host. Thank the you, bud. What is that? I can't get in there. Wait a minute. Why am I still in combat? I'm not in combat. Oh, remains. Nice. Give me guns or or or. Ugh, this is horrible. Give me something I can use. Disengage. I am not in combat, man. I want that money and the black powder stuff, dude. That's true. Man, I want... 
I want the obsidian stuff I missed. So mad about that. Let me through the door. Let me through the door, goddammit. Hang on a second. Just dawned on me. Yeah, no, we don't have any. Okay. I was like, do I still have access to all my shit in my inventory? Because if I do, I'm going to be pissed. I don't. God damn it. That means I got to go down here. Maybe maybe the droids already fucked up these guys down here. He's still chilling, man. Did you get the bad guys? Wait, wait, come here, droid droid. Did you get bad guys? Holy shit, you did. Okay. I don't have any computer spikes. That's unfortunate. Dude, activating that droid was the best idea I've had. Hey. Let's go see what this guy's got on him. Dude just rolled right up in here. Dropped a little truth bomb on these guys and uh, shit's over. All right, yeah, 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 let me in. Access system commands. Open detention eight spikes? Dude, I've only got three. Security cameras. Detention area. Actually, it doesn't look like the place we really need to be. What about the cell block? I bet they're in the cell block. No, that's a bad spot. We don't want to be there. Medical? No. Been there, done that. Barracks? Oh, barracks bad. Barracks bad. It may come back. Oh, yeah, that's a good point. Droid maintenance? No, been there, done that. Is there anything... Upload area schematics. I mean, I've got three, but I'm going to need more. Alright. Well, I can't get that door open. Not yet. Jolie is still naked. There's a lot of motherfuckers in there. Yeah, that's a barracks. Okay. Not unlocking him. Maybe I can unlock these guys, though. Okay, that's not happening. Okay. Man, if I could figure out how to get these guys out, they could they could they could do some damage to these idiots over here. Not that way, Dread. Not that way. Stop it. Hey, come this way. Hey, hey, hey come on this way. Where are you going? Where are you going? Hold up, hold up, dude. Oh, I can't mess with it. Okay, all right, well, let's try going up here then. So I got a feeling that if there was anybody up here, they are now dead. Oh, an elevator, it's always an elevator. And do us a little savey save first. Before I get on the elevator and end up going directly. <laughs> oh, okay, hold up. Cell block, bridge, hangar, cell block. Wait, am I on cell block right now? Son of a bitch, I'm on the cell block. All right, well, what about what about the hangar? You have to go to the bridge. <sighs> Rescue the rest of your party. I know. You're playing a human. Human fall flat. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean human fall flat? Been there? Been there. Go this way. Been here. Detention area. Locked. This is not going well. Nothing. Come on, 
on Jedi speed. Boo, bitch. It's a funny game. Oh, okay. shield. We're gonna heal for a second. Yeah, I'm not happy about this. I don't know. I don't actually know what it is I should do, man. I think I might be kind of screwed here. Might be legitimately screwed. Because I don't think there's a way you can generate the spikes. If there were, I'd be golden. I could just use whatever I wanted. <clears throat> Hang on, I got an idea. No, 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 no. Throw that there. That was the only one I had. Son of a bitch. What about... Slow it down, dude. Slow it down. You're fucking into fire, you idiot. They're not chasing me. This is ridiculous. That guy is. What are you doing, dude? You have a ranged fucking attack. You fucking idiot, dude. Ranged attack. You idiot. Moron. Alright, we're getting better. Here we go. That force whirlwind, man, that's no joke. Just took out the whole barracks with them. That's got to count for something. 37 credits. Like, that's anything for this. Ugh. Three more spikes. Man, I would have been up at six. I would have almost been there. Okay. That's three. That makes four. Five. Six. Oh my god. Ugh, it's so irritating, dude. That is so fucking irritating. Riot equipment, are you joking me? Oh, for fuck's sake, dude. All I had to do was make it right here. Oh, he can't put on this shit. That's right. But he could have at least used this shit.
He's still gonna be naked. At least he's got a fucking weapon now, though. Now get me in there. Get me in there. That's gonna take all fucking day. No, maybe not. Maybe not. Maybe not. Alright, we're making progress. Granted, this old man completely missed this shit. Alright, we're getting in. Stealth field generator. Motherfucker. Son of a bitch. Okay. So now I've got more than enough. I've got ten. Slice the computer. One spike. System commands. Detention area spikes. Done. Motherfuck, what a pain in the ass, dude. Alright, let's get out of here, man. This poor bastard just wants to put his clothes back on. That's it. That's all he needs. All he wants. Just his clothes. He's a nice old man. That's it right there, isn't it? That's the elevator. Droid. Detention. I'm right around the corner from it. <clears throat> okay, we're in. Unlock aft holding cells and equipment storage. Yes, please. About damn time. Well done, Jolie. I knew we could count on you. A Jedi never fails to get the task done. Now, if I remember the layout of the ship, our equipment should be in a storage chamber just through the north doors. After we grab our stuff, we need to get to the main bridge controls. The bridge yeah. is the only place that we can open the docking gates of the hangar where they've got the Ebon Hawk. We have to open those gates before we can fly out of here. We better get moving. I can feel the darkness of Malak's presence approaching, and I don't want to be here when he arrives. None of us is a match for the Sith Lord. I disagree. Then you are a fool. The power of the Dark Lord is strong enough to destroy any of us. Even you. It would be suicide to face Malakir. We need to get away before he arrives. Some Jedi Master you are. Surprise and secrecy will serve us best. A small group might have a better chance of sneaking onto the bridge undetected while the others make their way down to the She is hall. totally Count fine with standing in I've her I've got underwear. a score to settle with the Admiral before we get off this ship. And I have a feeling I'm gonna find him on the Leviathan's bridge. I'm coming too. That's a good idea. The others can get to the Ebon Hawk on their own, but Karth yeah. and I might need your help. The three of us will get our equipment and make our way to the bridge. The rest of you head down to the docking hangar where they've got the Ebon Hawk. You'll have to find. Don't you worry about that. Candorous. I know how to deal with the guards. They won't know what hit them. <laughs> I think they'll know it was you. We'll meet you there as soon as we get those docking bay doors open. Just make sure the Hawk is ready to fly when we get there. And may the Force be with you. We still have to get our equipment. Let's go. <laughs> so the three of us run around naked. It's great. Cutscene. Then we're all clothed again. Oh, everybody but me, man. Seriously? You guys are a bunch of dicks. Fine. Oh, I still... Oh, they grabbed their shit, but I didn't grab mine? Bullshit. I'm grabbing what's in the locker, too. Fuck these guys. Two grand? Worth it. <clears throat> Uh, it might be all of my stuff. <laughs> Holy shit, that might be all my stuff. Look at that. What's in the backpack? More computer spikes. What's in the bandolier? Mandalorian assault rifle. 
Okay then. <clears throat> okay. And we're gonna do one of these. Where did my... Yep, that's the modified one. That's the other modified one. All right, nice. And of course I need my breath math, math, mask. God, I can't talk. <clears throat> All right, we're gonna put you in uh, Davik's war suit. We're gonna give you this energy shield. Your blasters suck, dude. We're gonna give you a Mandalorian blaster. Mando blaster is pretty good. That's pretty cool. That's good. And she's got her double bladed. Okay, she's looking. She's got her shit together. What? Not bad. Not bad. Make sure we save again. Alright, now we just gotta get to the elevator and go to the bridge. <clears throat> Luckily, I know how to do that. Because I done fucked up so many times. Oh, chat, there's so much running around in this. I forgot about this. This is Candorus. We're at the Evan Hawk. Like we figured, it's under heavy guard. But don't worry, we'll figure out a plan to take care of them. Please do. Elevator go up. Bridge. It's time to kill some motherfuckers. It is so time to kill some motherfuckers. For this dude first. You best put that thing down. Let's go. How'd you like that? Like boy is literally just slow walking up to us right now. Ooh, that was a good one. Jeez. What? What? Man, I sounded pissed. What? Probably because I am. Balls. Hi. You're dead. No huge surprise. More Sithy Sithy. Oh, there's three of you guys. Now, I'm not entirely sure what Karthrip did. Oh, God. How'd you like Sorry, that? Bastard. Because I think she just went and done got herself killed. Oh, yeah, she definitely did. Holy crap. Yeah, that's about to be what happened to me. Well, this is horrible. Yeah, I done fucked up. I done fucked up, Jack. How'd 
Ah, Karth, you dumbass. Let's see if I can kite this guy in here. Come on, dipshit. Let's see how bad of a decision this one is. It's not terrible. What can we do with you? Two spikes to get in here? I got 19. Can it hurt? Let's do it. All security doors. Done. Area schematics. That wasn't a bad idea. Oh, did my friends get up? Oh. They're dead again. We're gonna haul ass the other way, and maybe, maybe they'll come back. I have faith, chat. I have faith in the in in in. You guys don't look so hot. Did I do that to you? No way, dude. Shit, maybe I did. <laughs> I think I might be able to take these guys. Holy shit. Oh, that was awesome. That doesn't happen very often. Alright, come on guys, get up, you're good. There's only one motherfucker left. And he's about to have a fucking grenade up his ass. What's up, dude? Oh, you did not just grenade me back, bitch. <laughs> Should have done this first. I'm especially kind of stupid. Oh, this bastard! Oh, I can't even use drain on him because he's dead. Okay. Alright, everybody get back up. You don't have to be dead anymore. I killed everyone. And where the hell did you all go? Well, there's Karth. They're all dead, dude. Get up. Did I get all this shit? I got all this shit. Somebody's still alive, man. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. I know what it is. It's Bastila's friends over here. They're all still... Yeah, there's a lot of douchebags over here. Damn, that blue shit's bad. Anytime you're ready. Alright, we can do this. We can do this. There we go. Alright. I seriously need you guys to get up. On me. Come here. Yes. Basil, I need you to heal like fucking crazy. Dude, she's got a good four of those in her. That's good. What? Sure. Alright, let's get all the foot lockers and shit. Nice. Not bad, man. Not bad. I thought for sure. I thought for 100% we were completely boned there. That was awesome. Chat, we done good. We done real good on that one. That was, uh, that was pretty. 
That was pretty. That'll work. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Got us a good chunk of this whole thing explored, too. Because I was running like crazy. I was like, hey, don't kill me! And you know what happened was they didn't kill me. There's nothing, there's no good reason to go down here. It's just gonna, ah, you dumbasses. Should have put on solo mode. God damn it. What can I do? Just don't, just, just, just don't do shit. All right, just don't do shit. Just heal everybody back up. That's all you really need to work on. You'll be all right. You'll be all right. Sure. Fucking crazy woman. Okay, so none of this is where we need to go. Hearing some very loud force rumblings, and I'm not liking what I'm hearing. What can I do? Uh huh. Yes. Here to put that damn thing away before she puts my eye out with it. <gasps> There's another trooper. If you get bored of this game tonight, you're sailing. I will let you know, bud, but I'm probably getting off here in like the next 10 minutes or so. Because unfortunately, my ass has got to be up early, as per frickin' usual. Oh, <laughs> you're so dead. Oh no, that's a lot of them. Why do they all have fucking grenades all of a sudden? Come this way, come this way, come this way. Oh no, you did. You did! Why would you do that? Or we could just go running in there, Bass, though. That seemed to work real good last time, too. She's gonna be dead, man. She's dead. Man, nobody can repel that kind of fire. Fuck that, dude. Nobody can repel that one. Have to be up early tomorrow to go to your high school, but you just want to sail. Yeah, don't blame me. What do I have? Nothing. Nothing good, dude. Got tons of med packs. That's not bad. That's why I bought so many of these damn things. Just in case. Hey, hey, calm your shit, dude. Alright. Really need to get that close to do that? Are you high? Alright, yeah, 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 yeah. No, bring his ass over here. Stop it! Oh my god. Oh, that worked real good. No, 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 we're not running in there. That's real dumb. You know what I can do? Hit him with this shit. You're gonna go down right now. What the fuck? How are you not dead, man? Stop running in there, dude. Marshall, thank you for the lurk, bud. Is it? Mm. How many left? Just the one? Alright, fuck it. You're mine. Shit, there's two. Oh my god, I got him. Oh my god, I got them. You guys are such worthless teammates. 
I have saved our asses so many times tonight. God, that was epic, man. Alright, yes. Basley, you know what's up. You know what I'm gonna ask you to do. I'm gonna ask you to heal the crap out of us. Can you do it one more time? Yeah, nice. Uh-huh. Sure. Okay. Oh my god, I can't believe we fucking made it out of there. That's a save. That's definitely a save point. Holy shit balls. That was epic. That was more than just epic. That was, uh... Because of intruder lockdown, you have to find another way to get into the bridge. Well, there just so happened to be a computer point back here, I thought. Is there a computer? No? I saw a computer in one of these rooms. One of the rooms I went run through like a little bitch. I don't know where it was. We're gonna find it. There it is. Two spikes to get in. Assisting bands. Well now hold the fucking phone. How come I can't? Security cameras. Bridge corridor. That's us. Well, I clearly can't use this. That's irritating. How am I supposed to open that door then? Bastila, seriously. God damn. Security spike tunneler. Space suit. I have a space suit now, that's cool. What's over here? Armor locker, nice. Powered light battle armor. It's not bad. Heavy armor? I'm here. Ready. Karth, I got a thing for you, bud. I got an idea. The shit that you're wearing now. Light battle armor is 7. Powered light is 8. I know we had... That's 5. 10. Dude. Yeah, buddy. 5, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 5, 8. So I could wear Davik's thing, too. I'm gonna wear the light stuff. That looks kind of cool. And poor Basila, she can't wear shit, man. Look at this. That's dumb, man. I don't know why she can't wear any of this. Uh huh. Sure. I mean, I look like a fucking Christmas tree, but that's okay. Yeah, fuck it. Let it blow up in my face. Yes. Now I really look like Bane. What? What? Oh shit, I didn't open all this stuff yet. Gun locker. Alright. So, if we can't get to the bridge that way, how do we get there? I'm at that point where I just don't know anymore, man. I'll tell you what, you goofballs, this I think is probably a good stopping point for me. It's 11.30 my time. I gotta be getting up in like seven hours, give or take. Oh, I never get to go to sleep this early. Um, yeah, let's cut it here. Because I think 
I think it's a good, it, it's a reasonable stopping point. Um, at least I think it is anyway. I might, I might get people disagreeing with me, but that's fine. That's fine. That's what we do. Um, okay, let me kick my, my music back up. Um, I'm going to find somebody to raid real quick, you guys. Um, let's do... And there we go. Who do we have on at the moment? Let's go take a peek. Going live. Let's see who's on right now. Mickey is on. Now that's cool. Alright, let's see if we can't give Mickey a raid. Alright, go to hell's on. Give me two seconds, chat. Go to hell indeed is, and they're playing State of Decay. I'm going to pass over the love to, uh, to go to hell. It's been a long time. Yeah. All right, you maniacs. We're going to pick this right back up tomorrow night. Um, we're going to get our asses off that ship and to Korriban, uh, which should pretty much shore us up for the very end, uh, which should get us into end game content, which will be pretty cool. And if we can knock that out, then we can start Ultimate Alliance this week. If not, we're going to be picking it up next week. So... Either or, I'll let you guys know. You guys will be able to uh, figure it out. I love you guys. Have a wonderful night. And uh, be sure to pass on this love uh, to uh, go to hell. <laughs> All right, you maniacs. I'll catch you all later.